Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to make a air hockey game in scratch like this and mouse you can use the mouse to control the player and you can also win as the enemy is not very accurate as you can see I'm I got two points now you can set the difficulty so let's make a new project name this air hockey so we need three sprites so I have three sprites here the player the disk and the AI the or the enemy you can say opponent so I have these, this costume so let's start with coding um, first of all when the green flag clicked broadcast start and after that when I receive start you can go to front layer and show forever set Y to mouse Y so the player will follow the mouse pointers Y and also put here go to X minus 200 and Y 0 now we have to set the position so now it's working then the AI same when the green flag like the hide and when I receive start then uh, show actually go to front and show then forever it's almost the same set Y to um, the Y position of disk so it will follow the disk I know it sounds impossible to win with this game but afterwards we will do some scripting to set the difficulty so now the disk now when the green flag clicked hide when I receive start then to um, show go to front and forever move 10 steps and f1 edge bounce so this is the main script for this but as you can see it just goes left and right so first of all we will set it to all around then to it goes like that so let's put here go x0 and y0 So let's check point in direction 90 and then just turn pick random negative 2 to 2 degrees. So now as you can see it rotates and goes down and you can see the enemies following the Y of the disk. If you increase the value like minus 5 to 5 degrees or just uh, minus 15 to 15 degrees now we'll see the, see the change just manually you can do that now you can see it's following the disk so set this to minus um, 45 to 45 now you will see the change here so now uh, make a variable called speed for all sprites and make it hidden now set speed to say 10 and put it here and then when I receive start forever if touching 
player or touching AI then just uh, turn and put here a pick random 175 to 195 degrees it will turn and then wait 4.2 seconds and also increase the speed set speed to after 10 it should be 15 or just say random say 12 to 15 so it will set it to random clean this up and then now you can see we can play the game to take a view at the speed you can check this box and now the speed increases and remains 15 or the speed set it by the collision so now you can make one more thing when I receive start forever wait 5 seconds and then set speed to 10 so it will automatically set the speed to 10 after 5 seconds even if it is 10 or greater than 10 so you can change the value wait 3 seconds if you want so now you can notice the change in speed I don't know the physics of the game so you can make just like this like like this so now we'll make the goal system make one more sprite called goal uh, player just delete the sound effect and make a small goal yeah no boundaries required and the color should be of the enemy say blue it should be a just copy that go to any of the sprite you want and paste or if you want you can just set this color to red and the player has the red color just set x and y to 0 and just set this name to goal or goals now name this costume layout duplicate this two times and delete one of them and after that in the second costume delete the another one so we have the layout first and second so when when the green flag clicked hide when I receive start then to hide and make a block called build number start and with a start run screen without refresh so now make a variable clone number for this sprite only make it hidden set clone number to start then repeat say um, uh, just put this number here change clone number by one and create clone of myself now put here the build build we need two goals and start from zero so it will build the clones without refreshing the screen so when I when I start as a clone if clone number is equal to one switch to costume one and forever if touching AI or oh sorry the disk then broadcast um say goal and make a variable called wait with a question mark for all sprites it is hidden and put your wait until wait is equal to zero and duplicate this 
for the second one and the claw number is 2, so it's two and the same just uh, put here another broadcast say goal player or just duplicate this and put it or just you can change the values like make two variables called player score and uh, opponent score or say AI score for all sides then position them as you want make the speed hidden now this looks good then change if it is 1 the players so change AI score by 1 and if it is second the one behind the enemy or the AI change player score by one so now go to disk when I start as a clone or oh sorry when I receive goal set wait to one and then we can make an animation for this so like uh, set uh, Ghost effect to 100, then repeat 2, then change ghost effect by minus, say 10, then set the ghost effect to 0, and then wait 1 second, then 100, then wait 1 second. You can also play this animation here, then make duration shorter. So then clear graphic effects here yeah. and set to wait to zero and just put an if statement everywhere like this if wait is equal to zero you can duplicate this and everywhere in these scripts I'll put it here then put it here now let's see if it works so the weight is now 0 or it's 1 it's 1 so the player is not moving so set weight to 0 then I restart so now it's moving so we have to add something here go to front layer and show so now it will work as you can see here now if the AI has a goal or if I have a goal so it increases by 2 so I have to put it something here go to goals and add here a delay 4.2 seconds both go to disk and put here go to x0 and y0 but after set wait to 1 so let's see so now it's rapidly increasing the value so just go to goals change and wait until wait is 0 so you can increase the delay set to 1 so now it's 3 so now it's 4 So now it's working good. Now the difficulty system. So you need a script like uh, you need a script like just put these things inside them. So it's like this. So put your uh, the Y position, the Y position, your the mouse Y position, and your two with here so now you can see it does the same thing but in the AI it will do something that sets the difficulty just put it there you can put it replace this with this and you can increase the smoothness here by 3 so you can goal 
let's set it to 7 so now we can make a goal here as it smoothens the script and slows the speed of the AI so let's set it to 8 to at least win this match you can adjust it So I had a goal here. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next tutorial.